Hi, I'm Tangie Harper. I'm a dancer, choreographer, teaching artist in Chicago, um, artistic director of the Happiness Club, and um, artistic manager of Story Catchers Theater. Hey, I'm Rick Wilson. Um, I'm a tour musician, a writer, um, activist, uh, dancer. Mm -hmm. um, Learner. Lyricist. Learner. Yes. Yeah, right. All things. I say this all the time. I think my favorite thing about hip hop is the ability to be exclusive and inclusive at the exact same time. So as a culture, it's important for you to be as exclusive as possible so that you can set yourself apart from anybody else who may be practicing one of the art forms that I feel like fall underneath the umbrella of hip hop, but the inclusivity of everybody being welcome to try whatever that is. Didn't matter your nationality, your gender, you know, how you identify. Whenever I was at a hip hop party, I saw diversity everywhere I looked, which is what I wish the country was more like. Hip hop was the quintessential idea of what it was like to be in a diverse crowd and have everything be love and be okay. So that's my favorite thing about it. Yeah. My favorite thing about hip hop, I think uh, hip hop makes me feel free. Uh, just kind of like how dancing makes me feel free. Um, and I think that's probably the number one like favorite thing about hip hop. And it makes me feel heard. Yeah. Hip hop yes. makes me feel free and heard. But maybe I feel free because I'm feeling heard. I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good but point too. Those, those, uh, that, that, that's, that's, I think those are my two favorite things or my one favorite things about hip hop. Um, I am significantly older, so I'm gonna go with, yes, I was dancing outside. There's a thing about being in Chicago and in your community, um, growing up in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, being outside was a thing. It's not as much of a thing now, because everybody's like a tech kid, but being outside was a thing for us. Everything we did was outside. So I have cousins that to this day, all we used to do was make up dances and it would consist of all of the popular dances that were happening in our community, which is a lot of where um, quote unquote hip hop movement comes from. People that classify hip hop dance don't regularly credit break dancing, which is the only real form of hip hop dance. The other stuff that they classify as hip hop is literally jazz dancing and street dancing mixed together. So the street dances are like the cultural dances that we all know, like the Cabbage Patch or the Reebok or the Running Man. Like those are dances that everybody was doing outside in their community. So we would in succession, like do a lot of these steps and form a dance. And that was like our way of like playing outside. So I guess it have started for me in that way. Um, but then I was a technically trained dancer when I was young and that's what I went to school for. And as a teenager in the nineties, that's when hip hop was at its finest and heyday and the best of like all the hip hop parties. And that's when I really got into like the whole backpack phase and yeah. every boy I liked was a graph writer and yeah, yeah. had baggy <laughs> pants and like backpacks and mean streaks in their <laughs> pocket. And like I was gone by the time I was like a sophomore in high school. That was it. That was it. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to be around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> History. I know it made me more of an honest artist, mm -hmm. um, outspoken, mm -hmm. definitely uh, less afraid to express myself or and like how I feel about things because I don't feel the pressure to be conserved in any way, you know.